Back in the 1940s and 50s when Stan Pocock was the freshman coach at the University of Washington, um, he came up with a way that broke up the monotony of winter training with the freshmen. Uh, you know, the ham and egger is the equivalent of the playground rules, kickball, you know, you pick them on the playground and, uh, you know, we just put all the tongue blades um, in a hat and do a random draw and go out there and race and have a good time with it. First of all, we get to row all year round. And so here we are in January and February uh, trying to uh, make sure that we're doing things that are leading us to the racing season and what better than actually coming out and uh, you know throwing a full-blown 2,000 meter race uh, on Monday. Since it's so spontaneous it's just you know totally out of the blue I have no idea who's gonna be in my boat um, it helps because I really need to adapt and figure out exactly what's going on in the boat you know with no prior knowledge to how the boat is going to feel because I don't know who's in the boat. Well, it's a great team building experience and a lot of fun. You know, you come down here, you're with a group of guys, some of whom you might not get a chance to row with a lot, and just getting up a lot of excitement with uh, your teammates, you know, going head to head, you know, against the guys you row with is really a lot of fun. In lane three, in the McCurdy with the purple and white. It was me, Weaver, Bunkers, Conlin, Rob Munn, Ministo, Anthony, AJ, and Noah. Yeah! For a coxswain, I think that this is a great time that coxswains at other schools where the waters are frozen over, there's not a lot of time for them to, you know, be honing in on their skills. And this is a great time at the University of Washington that coxswains get to cox, they get to race. These are race day scenarios and we know, we tell the coxswains, you know, the race is at 4, 445 and, you know, rain, shine, wind, hail, snow, we're going to start that race and they better be able to handle those conditions and that's always pretty fun. You never know what you're going to get. You might get a classed out day when Mount Rainier is out and you might get a day where it's hailing and snowing and uh, the wind's blowing from the south and that's race day. You never know the biggest race of your life might happen on a day when there's a 50 knot crosswind. So. Uh, you better be prepared. Listen up. In two, we'll lengthen. That's one, two, here we go. Power time. Let's stabilize. It's a 35. No lower. Yes, we got lane three out in front right now. Laura's got us by about two seats in lane two. That's nothing. We're at a 33 and a half. We're gonna take this 10 right now for a quick catch. Because it's really friendly competition, but at the same time, like, you know, everyone's just really willing to like lay it all down out there. You know, it's on your home course, you're sort of like visualizing the spring. And you know, I, I just think it's something that's just a lot of fun. Boats will either click instantly and like you'll have a great rhythm or sometimes it takes a lot of work to get them to go and be unified. But I think that it gives a coxswain a lot of opportunity to be able to get a boat to get together, to unify as a team, as a boat and go fast and, you know, win the race. And uh, Max Weaver. I'm pretty excited about the win. I mean, a lot of it's luck if you get a good lineup, you know, but then sometimes it really depends on the crew and like bringing it together. It's really on the cocks and to have you guys row together and I'm pretty happy to win the last one. Jump it. There you go. All right. Sometimes you'll, you'll have two boats that are really even and one of them will come up from behind and take the win, you know, and it really, it really shows a lot of character of the guys in that boat to come together and really pull for, or push for one another. It helps them relate all of the things that we do, all the ergometers and all the distance rowing and all the weightlifting and all that stuff, it brings it back into focus uh, that this is a racing team, not just a training team. And so it, uh, that's a huge part of the program. I remember rowing with a guy named Roberto Blonda who had rowed in the Olympics and uh, how cool that was and how special that was. And uh, that's what I really remember is that it brings the whole team together and it's, uh, you know, we have one mission here and we want to win the uh, Varsity 8 and the 10 Trophy at the IRA 
and it helps everyone realize no matter what boat you're on, we're all on the same mission and we're all pushing to make those boats go as fast as we can. And that's the, that's the really that's the cool part about it.